it sounds like a crying baby. It's like a high pitch, like. <laughs> that. that would be our tour manager, Kevin, actually. Kevin almost. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, we kind of draw straws to see who gets to share a room with him at a hotel. Um, Tony started snoring a little bit here and there, so. But I don't know, I can sleep there, whatever, so it doesn't really bother me. If there was someone out of the band, it'd be our tour manager. He snores like crazy. It's, but if it's in the band, I think it's probably me. I snore sometimes pretty bad. Jaime's been telling me that I wake him up at night because usually we share a hotel room, so. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, I snore so loud. Tony is the worst. I actually thought I lost him this morning, or last night, I should say. He was. Uh, we share rooms, and he was. He was snoring so loud, it was frightening me. And I went to reach for my phone to videotape it because it was that good. He abruptly stopped, and I didn't hear a word from him. So I thought he actually died. I thought he just. So I was like was watching him and then he kicked back in again so I don't know if that's like a normal thing that people do but our guitar player Tony literally died for like 15 seconds last night. If any of us are really professional at our job we just kind of uh, go up there and pretend to look like we know what we're doing you know what I mean? I mean at least professional. Let's go Tony. Tony. Just because I think a lot of the times he uh, it, it, even though he might not seem like it, he, it almost feels like he wants to be somewhere else. And uh, that may be the case. Or he might just be tired. Or he might just be uh, lonely, might need a hug. Um, you know, maybe, you know, had a bad day. You never know. Oh, he's just a goofball, man. He's always crazy. <laughs> Dick's, Dick's probably the least professional. Definitely, I mean. I think he spends more time figuring out what he's gonna wear before the show than actually focus, focusing on like his instrument and playing. So that's true, by the way. <laughs> he's gonna kill me for this. Did you hear Jaime complaining right now? That was it. Jaime takes a kick for that too. Usually food. Usually, if, if he hasn't eaten, he'll get pretty grumpy. Um, if he doesn't have dry shampoo and the night is over, he won't go on stage. I don't even know. They probably said me, huh? I, I probably assumed me, but I don't even complain at all. You guys are so... You guys don't even know. I could complain. I don't complain, though. Let's go, let's go Tony again. Just because I know he went right before me, he probably said me. But he complains a lot. He's probably complaining right now about this interview that he hears in the, in the next room. He probably doesn't like the way I'm sitting. But you know what I say to that? YOLO! Probably Vic. Vic's usually uh, pretty easy to deal with on stage. Quick and easy. You know Lady Gaga up there, you know? Vic's usually pretty happy to be there. He's got a good attitude and sound check. He's always stoked on getting that stuff done, being able to play and everything. So. Probably Vic. I usually don't want to be there, so I'm always kind of angry at sound check. You always like sound checking, but I mean, if you were a lead singer for the band, why wouldn't you? You all you got to do is just, he doesn't even sing at sound check. He does the least. So he just sits there and looks pretty. Oh, the perks of being the lead singer. I'm just a bassist. 